Welcome everybody and welcome to the end of the fourth day of All Saints at home. It's April 1st today, which is April, April Fool's, Fool's day. day. Happy April Fool's. Thank you Mr. very much, Russell. Miss Hill. <laughs> Lovely of you to be helpful. It is good to have Miss Hill with us today and I'm going to ask her a couple of questions regarding her thoughts on where, where we are and how we're going through All Saints at home. So Miss Hill, can you tell us from your perspective What's working at the moment and, and are there any things that we could continue to improve on as we continue this new journey? So a couple of things that are working really well are those students who have listened to that advice and they're really making sure that they're managing the way in which they engage with our live lessons. So it's terrific to see people being really positive and following all of those, those um, guidelines around the etiquette and the, the rules around how to engage online. So that's fantastic and it makes life so much easier for teachers and for students. Um, the second thing that's really terrific is to see all of the fantastic engagement in the options site in terms of all of the students who are cooking meals and doing all sorts of really interesting things and sharing the things that they've been up to. So that's fantastic to see. So well done to the sevens to tens who are engaging in that space. Excellent. Thank you very much. Look, from your personal point of view, I was wondering if you had any tips or suggestions that you might have for our students and parents possibly out there in how to you know continue to make the very most of their time i guess the one key tip that i would say is because you don't have teachers standing with you um, all of the time it's around organization and making sure that you have really clear goals for each lesson and really clear goals for each day and really clear goals for each week so you can make sure that you can tick things off as you've got them completed and make sure that you don't fall behind and that you let us know if things are going a little too fast so that we can slow the pace down. Oh, fantastic, thank you, great advice. Our quote of the day actually is very pertinent to where we're up to. We've been persisting a little bit on our way through and hopefully things are becoming easier. So from Rolf Waldo Emerson, that which we persist in doing becomes easier for us to do. Not that the nature of the thing itself is changed, but that our power to do is increased. Thank you so much for your involvement. Thanks for listening to us and I hope all continues to go incredibly well. Have fun.